Welcome or welcome back, new viewers and game viewers. It is time for another episode of Paper Mario, and today we're gonna take on the seventh boss so we can get the last star spirit. So let's walk this corridor and let us begin. Who comes to my palace? Mario, you finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First, I shall defeat you. Then, I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. Oh, he's gonna freeze me, he says. I was saying, man, what is it with ice beings or whatever? In, in, uh, in fiction that are like, I'm gonna freeze you solid and stuff. I mean, this guy, the ice-type trainers in Pokemon games, etc. Always going on about freezing people and whatnot. Alright, Gimbaro, I'm gonna tattle, but why don't we tattle one of these guys first? This is a crystal bit. Basically, crystal bits are just pieces of the Crystal King. You can drop them with these. Their HP is one, and, they only, and they're only dangerous when the Crystal King spews them out. Their defense power is zero. These guys are pretty weak. They'll keep coming, though, until you've finally beaten the Crystal King. Alright, so, a fast way for us to wipe him out, let's just use Star Storm. I call upon the Scholar of Star Haven, I summon the Come Forth Scholar. And I can do a little bit of damage to Crystal King over here as well. Because he has an attack where he'll use those guys and shoot him right at you. And he spawns them right back. They do have a pretty dangerous attack after all. Now, Gumbario, title the king. The seventh boss of this game. This is the Crystal King. He's one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he manages to take over this palace, but... Max HP 70, attack power 6, defense power 2. He'll attack you by summoning and launching crystal bits. The power of each attack is 4. The number of times he attacks is equal to the number of crystal bits he, he deploys. He'll also try to freeze you whenever he can. When his HP gets low, he may try to divide and conquer. The power of his attack is eight. You can hurt him only by attacking his real body. If you don't know which one's the real body, you should attack all of them. Pretty brilliant, eh? Well, that splitting attack that Gumbario was just talking about has two different variants. One where he clones himself and they're on the ground, the other where he clones himself and they're floating in the air so you can't hit him with ground-based attacks. So do be careful of that. I changed around some of my badges for a bit and now we have this mega jump. Non damage to get right through that defense. Ah! That's the attack that Gumbario was talking about before. Now, Gumbario, why don't you do a focus? We're gonna need that here. The more star points we have, the better. Or star power, I mean. Now, why don't we Mega Smash next? There is one other attack that Crystal King has that's pretty annoying that I really don't like. He may keep spawning these guys, but he'll only do that for a short amount of time. Once he is at a certain HP threshold, he won't be able to do that anymore. But now we have three of those, and we'll Star Storm again. I call upon the Scholar of Star Haven, I summon the fourth. Come forth, Scholar! Still the best of all the Star Spirits. Tell me I'm wrong. Alright, here's his Ice Beam attack. If you don't block, it'll instantly freeze you every time for up to two turns. Now that Gumbario has done his job, why don't we switch to Wadi Girl? Alright, he's summoning back these guys again. Alright, since Mario loses his turn, I think the best thing to do... I could, can I paralyze all these guys? I don't think it matters. Alright, let's just get rid of one of these guys. What was the damage that Mario takes overall? I am so bad at guarding them. Alright, I pretty much have to heal here. Super Shroom. And Electro Dash for at least a little bit of damage. Okay, really? Let's just lower his HP. 
Maybe focusing there was the smarter move, but I don't know. Alright, here's the cloning attack. Alright, there's really no way, at least to my knowledge, there's really no way to tell which one's the real one. So, yeah, let's say it's the front one. If it's not the real one, the attack will miss, like that. Uh oh this is going to hurt a bit. Alright, I think I'm going to use another Super Shroom. I want to save that Ultra Shroom for another time. So let's eat that again, and I'm going to have Vlad do a focus. You're gonna do that again, go ahead. <sighs> Alright, why don't we Mega Smash now so we can hit all of them in a row? And it was the last one. Alright, lower his HP even further. There is a certain attack that he has that I really hate, and you will likely do it. This attack. Where he just heals 20 HP and there's really no way to stop it. Though there is one thing you can do. If I remember correctly, he only does that attack maybe every three moves. If you can damage him fast enough, you can stop him from doing the heal attack. And oh boy, it won't be the last time we see that, just saying. Alright, why don't we take this turn to play a little more defensively and we can heal. Smooch my call upon the Maiden of Star Haven. Come forth, Miss Star. Now he's going to do the same cloning attack, but this time it's in the air. And I really have no way to multi-damage targets in the air, so that's totally not annoying at all. I'm going to have Wad do it for... Damn it. Okay, fine. Uh... Front. Alright, I got it right. And the other two will disappear. You'll probably try using the Ice Beam attack. Why do I keep missing that? No. <sighs> keep misclicking. And he just... Oh, he didn't heal. Okay, good. I really wish there was an easier way to tell which one was the front one. If somebody knows, please let me know. Alright, let me not misclick this time. Front again. Yeah, got it right. Okay. <laughs> Ice beam. Come on, dude! For fuck's sake. Alright, might as well just get some of our star power back. He's likely gonna heal this turn. Alright, he didn't heal, but he's cloning again. Not misclick. Front. Alright, missed. Yeah, they just healed. Really do not like that attack. Alright, why well, you go first? Alright, is it the middle one? Really wish there was a better way to tell it. Alright, it is the middle one. I mega smash. I seriously wish there was a more reliable way to stop that. Thank you. I actually blocked it this time. Alright, you focus again. Still not enough to get to three. I think I'm just gonna use a maple syrup. I really wish he wouldn't clone in the air. If he just stayed on the ground, it would be much easier, because I could simply Mega Smash, but I can't do that. Alright, calling upon the Maiden of Starhaven, come forth, Miss Star. I mean, if you're gonna heal, I might as well heal too, right? I think that's the reason why these bosses have that. Ever since Chapter 6 onward, the bosses can just readily heal pretty much whenever they want. 
So this is probably the reason why it's just to balance out the fact that Mario can do that himself. It doesn't change the fact that it's still annoying as hell. I don't know if there's a way to block that attack. Back. And it's the middle one, of course it is. Alright, fine then. Mega jump. Cloning again. If I had more star powder, I could simply just star storm, but we can't do that. Alright, I'm always gonna have Lot go first here. Front. Just so it doesn't use up Mario's turn. Normal jump. Got it right. And I'm frozen again. Oh my god. That tech is so hard to guard. And he didn't heal. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it's just based on RNG whether he heals or not, but it has to be at a certain HP threshold to do that. Alright, will it be the middle this time? It is not. Of course not. Alright, good. No healing. That's fine. Alright, Watt again, you go first, because if we get this... Actually, I don't think I'll be able to kill him from that range, even if I do get it. And that's not the correct one. Alright, good to know. Alright, Mega Jump. I missed it. <laughs> Alright, he didn't heal. Nice. There is a chance. There's a method to the madness. Better yet, you know what? I got an idea. Hold up. I think it's time we use Thunder Rage. So then I can beat him a lot next turn. Alright, it's the front one. Nice. And... What? Finish them off. We win. Alright, yeah, I have a flower badge on, so I'm gonna give myself HP. Oh no! The last Star Spirit! King Bowser, forgive me! And now, we have rescued all seven star spirits. Now my one only thing here is, of all the star spirits, let me let me show you something real fast. They all have some big design trope about them. That really makes them stand out. This, like, Eldstar is the older, has got a big mustache. Mamar's got that bow, and Muscular's got that hat, and he's blue. muscular has got the glasses, he's got his book and bow, and then he's got his, and she's got some weird ribbon or whatever. Him, he looks kind of basic compared to the other ones. Just a regular old Cleveland show looking mustache. <laughs> but anyways... Here we are, the final Star Spirit. End of chapter! Mario has saved the last Star Spirit, Kalamar, from the Crystal Palace at the edge of the world. Now, with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it is time for Mario's showdown with the evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach or recover the Star Rod, or will wishes forever go ungranted? Save and continue. Meanwhile, back at the castle. Oh, Mario. I wonder what he's doing now. I wish I knew if I was helping him all at all. Of course you are! Mario will be fine. You should be proud of your efforts. Mario knows all you've done. And don't you worry, Princess. You'll be able to talk to him in person before long. <laughs> I hope you're right, Swick. Thanks for cheering me up. 
Let's go back to the room, shall we? Oh, Princess Peach! Your cuddly old Bowser's here! Oh, now you make an effort to hide. Hmm. Oh, he's been doing that, actually. Uh, can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see a smile. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill. You're stuck with me for a long time, beautiful. You better get used to it. Probably should have said that at the beginning of the game, whatever. I was coming, Bowser, and you can't stop him. <laughs> oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with the Star Rod, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. He's history. Get over it. <sighs> Damn it, he's right. <laughs> your raunchiness, or your raunchiness, we have an emergency. <sighs> it better be important. I'm right in the middle of a friendly chat with the princess. Uh, uh, Mario has saved all of the star spirits. There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. None to talk! Mario! Okay, listen, Gabby Koopa, send everyone to their posts. We'll ambush him the second he enters my castle. Princess Peach, why don't you come with me to watch? You can have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. You, yeah you. Tara up immediately! If she gets out of this time, heads will roll on oh, damn death threats. <laughs> Anyways, and who's he talking to? Some guards that randomly show up that weren't there in the previous shot. Whatever. No, please! You big Koopa! Wow, what an insult. Show some respect to the princess. What is this whining little glittering thing? Confetti? Yeah, buzz off! Ooh. Technically, that's child abuse. That is a kid, after all. Twink! Take the princess! Now, let's move! No! Well, and that's the last of the Peach Interludes. My name is Kalamar. Mario, well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully rescued all of us Star Spirits. We are in your tent. Now, all that is left is for you to challenge Bowser. My power should help. To bring back the Star Rod, to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and to save Princess Peach. Mario Star Engine goes up to seven. Mario can now use Up and Away, a new Star Spirit power. With Up and Away, you can turn all enemies into stars. Mario, you must make your way back to Shooting Star Summit. From Shooting Star Summit, we will prepare the route to Star Haven. The name of this route is Starway. Once you travel the Starway, you'll finally reach Star Haven. My only wish is for you to save this precious world. You can do it, Mario. Goodbye for now. That's all eight star spirits saved. Oh, look at that. I might as well come back down here. And just because I can hit this hard block. We're gonna go all the way back to Shiver City. Because there are a few things that we definitely missed. Like the rest of the super blocks. There's only three that I have yet to get because poor old Koops still hasn't been upgraded this entire time. Also, I'm gonna need that. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just need that to replace it from the boss fight. I don't want to fight you, man. I got places to go. Kind of wish it had spawned you at the end of the... Or at the entrance of the Crystal Palace. Instead, it just spawns you in one of the rooms. Definitely would make getting out of here a little bit faster. Nope. Ah! Haha. <laughs> Guys can't corner me. Uh-oh. He's trying to lick me? Come on, man. Thankfully, this isn't a game where lick causes paralysis. Oh, boy. Alright, now we're out of here. Alright, well, it was nice being here. 
Time to get down to business. We got other places to be. Better yet, while we're on here, why don't we get like Lester out of here? And so we can just ride. But yes, the Star Spirit Power up, up, and away. It's another screen clearing attack. And I think we could showcase that right here. I call upon the final Star Spirit of Star Haven. I summon you forth, Kalamar. I think it has, I think depending on the weaker the enemy is compared to you, the less likely it is, or the more likely it is to work, but like that. In exchange, however, you don't get any star points. I think it's a pretty decent balance. Just a, it's just a nice screen clear attack. That just lets you get away from fights you don't want to deal with. And hey, you still get some coins out of the deal at the very least, so it's, you, you don't miss everything by using that. Oh my jeez. All right. Just hold on, we're going home. All right. So long, Shiver City. It was nice being with you guys. Actually, one more thing before we go, since we used up a good amount of items during that fight. Just need to replenish a little. I know these things are cheaper in other places in the game, but that's okay. I don't really care. I can always just grind up some more coins off screen. Alright, there is one super block I missed here that I looked up. And that is this one. This you can upgrade your party member. And all that you have left is Paracarry and Cooper. Alright, heal master air raids. Attack all enemies. Another screen clearing attack. It doesn't really clear the screen, it's just an AoE attack. Definitely could have been useful in the Crystal King fight, but that's alright. And he will use Dizzy Show, we could have had that much earlier in the game, but I don't think we needed it, as you can tell. Uh, eh. Sorry, Cooper. I'll find the other, uh, super blocks that I'm missing later on. Off screen, I don't have to worry about that now. Paracarry is now Ultra Rank. Doesn't really matter, I rarely ever use him. Because again, compared to Goombario, Wad, Sushi, and uh, Lucky Luster, I don't find him that useful in battle. That's just me. Some other people might have better use for him than I do, but... Nah, I don't really have much of a use for him. Uh, we have no more business in there. Alright, there's those Dark Koopas that are here, so why don't we... Get back onto here to try to go through it as quickly as possible. I've been hit. Ow. I just realized I don't have Zap Tap on. Honestly, might as well, you want to stand in my way. Yeah, we'll put Zap Tap back on, probably off screen. I'm not going to bother with that now. Oh, excuse me? Whatever. That was in the target. Maybe it was slightly off of it. Maybe that's why that happened. I don't know. Anyways, back on the Lucky Lester Express. Alright, now time to swim across. If I could get in here, thank you. Alright. And now, that's probably the last time we'll ever be in the sewers. So we have no reason to be in here now. Alright, let's see if there's any other badges we can get. Alright, badge man, you got anything? Well, let's see, other than a damage dodge, I don't really see anything too useful here. I think after Chapter 6, he doesn't update his uh, badge storage any further, which is a little sad. But when I see any other badges he might have. Let's just sleep, because before we go to Star Hill, the next episode will be a bunch of optional boss fights. Alright, Goombario, I need your help. Alright. And now if we go this away... 
we're gonna be fighting a certain someone in the dojo. It's been quite some time since we were in here, so this is where we shall be in the next episode. But anyways, that'll be it for this edition of the Paper Mario playthrough. If you all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow it with a busy season screen right now. Find YouTube that bell button for more. Video sponsored by the wonderful people at Dubby. Just hit the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful discount. Your wonderful energy drink order. I recommend the Dragon Egg flavor. What did you like and dislike about this video? You can use that feedback for future videos. In the next episode, we're going to take on the leader of this dojo. So have ourselves a nice little warm-up before the final battle with Bowser. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching, and have a terrific day.